Hey everyone, welcome to Adventures in Everyday Cooking, where every day can be an adventure in your kitchen. My name is Heather, and today we are on the Martinez Farm, and this is my niece, Olivia. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and today we are going to use the brand new multi-cooker from Pampered Chef to make sous vide egg bites. Now, you've eaten sous vide egg bites before, right? No, she's never even eaten them before. So we're gonna have fun and show you how this multi-cooker works. Now, before we begin um, any of the prep, we're gonna go ahead and get the multi-cooker ready. So you're gonna want to set it to sous vide, push the middle button. Then we're gonna set the temperature, push the middle button again, and then the time. As you see here, I'm making it for a whole bunch of time um, because we have more than one set of these to do. We're only gonna show you this 12, and 12 will fit in here, um, but we have more to do after we're done filming. So I set it for way longer than we needed because I don't wanna have to rewarm my water for a full 35 minutes before we start again. So without further ado, are you ready to start this adventure? Yes. Yes, all right. Okay, so inside this bowl we have one dozen eggs. So I want you to go ahead and whisk up those eggs. You have to be violent with those eggs. Tell them who's boss. If you have some stubborn yolks, you can go Bah! and smack them. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Kill those yolks. <laughs> all right, so now go ahead and leave the whisk in there and we're gonna add some salt and some pepper. So it says a pinch of salt. So probably just do like three or four um, grates of pepper or salt. <laughs> All right, and then some pepper, yep, there you go. And then we're gonna add one cup of cheese, half of a cup of cottage cheese, and about six pieces of crumbled bacon. Yep, just dump it on in. All of the cheese. All of the cheese. And we're just That's using it. cheddar cheese. All right, and now we're just gonna give it another whisk. All right, while she's whisking that, I'm gonna go ahead and get our little jars ready. So we decided to use these four ounce jars and we're just gonna spray a little bit of the spray right inside each of them. And that's just to ensure that they don't stick. They're still gonna stick, but it's to help them not stick. How's it going over there? You think you're done? Yes. All right, so let's go ahead and take this and then we are gonna portion out all of this into all of these using this right here. So it's gonna take about that much in each of these jars. Okay, so now it's time for us to get it into the pot. So what we're going to do is I'm gonna move it close to Olivia and I'm gonna let her use the tongs and she's gonna set them all down inside the pot. I just set yep, them you just step them right on top of each other. Our only, when we're done, we just wanna make sure that all the eggs are submerged in the water. The jars don't have to be, but the eggs have to be under the water. And it looks like that's gonna work out just fine. Perfect, all right. Now we are going to put our lid on. So we're gonna give it about an hour and then we're gonna come back and taste them. Does that sound like a good idea? Yes. All right, let's push go. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys back here in about an hour. Bye. Okay, we're back, it's been an hour. So what we're going to do is we're gonna lift our lid right up and then we're just going to, I'm gonna go ahead and hand these to you and you're gonna lift, let's just do one at a time. We'll lift it out and set it right down here on the table. There we go. And I will usually want to go ahead and let them like cool before you open them because otherwise you'll burn yourself. But since she's ready to go to Taekwondo, we want to get these opened up so that you can see the results and she can taste it. So, oh, look at that. That looks good. That looks very <laughs> good. So to get it out, we're just going to take a little spatula, go around just a tiny, tiny bit. And then it should just pop out when we smack it on here. So you go for it. Turn over and smack it on here. See, look at that. See how it's moving? I'm just going to go There we go. It did stick a little bit. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> but there we have it, that egg bite. So you want to grab yourself a fork? I know it's a bite. You probably just put it in her mouth like this, but 
We're ladies over here. All right, here she goes. She's gonna try it. Her first egg bite ever. She ha has she had them before, Mom? I yeah, she's like had them ones. before. It's hot, but hot. Ah, good. It's good, yeah. Did you find it that a success? It was that easy enough for you to do? If your mom picked you up a sous vide machine? <laughs> yeah, I definitely think... something you could do. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe? Well, what, what about it was hard? Nothing, huh? Mm. It's pretty easy. She likes it. Mikey, she likes it. She likes it. All right, did you enjoy that? Was that fun? All right, you guys. Well, if you enjoyed that video, give it a like. Give Olivia some love. Um, if you like that video, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel, my channel, and her channel too now, right? Right? <laughs> um, I do videos several times a week and I'm always looking for the next adventure. Right now, my adventure is everywhere because I'm transitioning. That's why we're here at the Martinez Family Farm and we're doing videos with everyone because everybody wants a piece of the action. Good action though, huh? Is that good? All right, you guys. Well, I guess maybe you'll come on another time, right? We'll see, we'll see what we can do. All right, you guys, we will see you on the next adventure. Bye.